Some people will go to any length to say that Batman Mask of the Phantasm is the best Batman movie ever and the best animated film ever. But if it really was the best animated film ever, the animation would be more detailed and smooth and fluid. Sort of like on a um, Disney animated classic quality, or by some of the more big budget works of Warner Brothers animation that came in later years like Quest for Camel and all that. Now the thing about Batman Mask of the Phantasm being the best Batman movie ever, I, I wouldn't say that it was the best Batman movie ever because, well, I grew up watching the live action films, the Tim Burton, Joel Schumacher trilogy, and I would never say that it's better than Tim Burton's movie because without it, we wouldn't have Batman the Animated Series or Mask of Phantasm. And a lot of people view it as like an origin story for Batman, but that's not, ne that's not entirely true. I think Christopher Nolan did a better job when he made Batman Begins because it actually shows us Bruce's childhood in full and how he came to be the Cape Crusader. And as I said in my earliest video, I wouldn't consider using Andrea Balmador, her father, Carl, because they're based on Rachel Caspian and her father, Judson, and the Phantasm is based on the Reaper. As a comic book purist, I see absolutely no purpose as to why they replace them with new characters. And I think that Reaper is a more fitting name for an Angel of Death character rather than Phantasm. <laughs> well, I do have some respect for Mask of the Phantasm, though, as for its story and such. However, if many fans of the DC Universe in any circle is going to rely on the philosophy of Mask of the Phantasm being the all-time superior best Batman movie ever, I might as well consider giving it a live-action remake that's more in tune with the mainstream DC universe. Right now I'm up to six pages and I just got finished with the famous scene with Thomas and Martha being killed off, and Bruce being comforted by Leslie Tompkins. Sorry for the spoiler. Anyway, if you agree or disagree with me in any case, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I will accept any criticism um, with a mature fashion. Thank you, goodbye, and happy August.